Hello, good evening, welcome along to my stream and we are 29th of October, 5 minutes to 8 o'clock in the evening and this is my uh, Halloween special. So I'd said I, well I got uh, Amsterdam, the uh, Aerosoft Mega Airport, so I've installed that and here we are in the uh, Dash 8 Delta. So I've done quite a few videos in the Dash 8 but someone said they've purchased it recently and uh, they've been flying it so we'll revisit the uh, the Dash 8 and we'll put a flight plan in and we will uh, fly into London City. So we'll put gear down, lights, warning lights, warning lights. Uh, Daniel, hello, good evening. What are your frames like at EHAM? Frames are shocking on mine, so uh, let's bring fraps up, which kills the frames even more, but at least you get an idea. So, 23 on the ground, but there's not much traffic. In fact, there's only <laughs> two other planes there. Seems a waste of a uh, massive airport for just two planes. Um, are you flying with people tonight? No, no, I said, you know, I'll, I'll just fly a quick flight towards the end of the week, which is this flight. So it's just me, I'm afraid. If you've come here to see Simon or Steve, you're out of luck. Uh, I'll probably be uh, flying with them again on uh, Tuesday. So, what do we do first? Well, we look around our Dash 8 to make sure it's secured. So our throttle levers can go on to disconnect our throttle lever lock comes to close. Com radio, which is a standby radio, can go on there. Radios can go on to FMS there and FMS on the second one and we can accept. So my nav data is out of date. Yeah, no, I'm very well, thank you very much. Very well. So first of all we'll uh, get a Q&H for the, uh, so we'll look on Active Sky next and we'll tune into uh, ATIS information on, there's no ATIS information, there's no controllers, that's fine. So what does Active Sky say? So, uh, Q&H is uh, 1020. So we put that in here, like that. Uh, winds, so the uh, reading was taken on the 29th at 1925 Zulu. The winds are 180 at 5 knots, visibility plus 10, clouds none reported, which you can see in the sky. Uh, temperature is uh, plus 9, dew point plus 8, altimeter 1020. So, what we'll do next is uh, start looking at a flight plan. Uh, 
Okay, let's go to EFB. Getting value for money tonight, aren't you? So we get to get rid of our menu by holding Alt down, close that window. So our root setup is uh, probably a uh, Valco 3 Echo Departure. Then we'll go on to Valco, then we'll be on the Airway Uniform Lima 980, then on to Zaman, then Lima 980, Logan and the Spear 2 Bravo into London City. We've chosen to fly at flight level 220. Um, and if we look at our departure, so runway 18 left, so we are Jersey. And our call sign tonight is Jersey 1023. There are some uh, Jersey flights going out of uh, Amsterdam into Liverpool and Southampton this evening. So we've kind of nicked their call sign and just added one to it. Or nicked their flight numbers and added one. Um, runway 18 left. So out of runway 18 left then, we will uh, depart, just offset the runway heading uh, 167 degrees. We will then be making a right turn out to uh, the Valco waypoint for heading across the channel over to Logan and into UK airspace. Hopefully it's a straightforward route and hopefully I've got the route right. At Tripo, Tripo, we need to be uh, no greater, no less than 7,000 feet of flight level, flight level 70. On to Ridley, over South End, and then start our uh, lineup, which is possibly on runway 27. Which will be a straight in approach. like so. Okay, let's get our route sorted then. So, on the FMS we will put our starting airfield which is E-H-A-M and we press enter. That comes up with the name Shipple and then we'll accept that. The next waypoint was Valco, V-A-L-K O, and we press enter and we can accept that. We then have an airway so we press the list button click on airway and it automatically knows what airways we can select from this waypoint which will be Uniform Lima 980 so there's a lower and there's an upper airway so probably be on the upper to start with. After that, we will. Our next waypoint is Zaman, which is number seven. So we hit number seven, press enter, and then it puts all the waypoints in between Valco and Zaman on that airway. Then we've got another airway, which is the lower one, which is uh, Lima 980 or number one, and that will take us into Logan. Uh, then it's the uh, star, so we can put in E, G, L, C and press enter and accept that. So this is our routing without ACID and star in. So we will save that by going to menu, store flight plan, E, H, A, M to E, G, L, C and press enter. That's now saved. So if flights and crashes or we need to reload it again for a, another day, we've got that saved in memory. So what runways are other people using? Yeah, one eight left looks okay. So we now need to put in our SID, our standard instrument departure. So we press the button for EHAM, press menu and we are departing. 
one eight left is number five. And it was a Valk three Echo, which is number seven. Press flight plan and that puts that in. Hello mittens. Uh for our arrival. Uh, at the moment it's runway 27 but we can always change it so that's number 2 and it was a Spear uh, 2 Bravo which is number 8 and insert that into the flight plan uh, we can delete that no link click on no link, press delete I just deleted a wrong waypoint Uh, Spear 2 Bravo number 8 there we go, that's fine, let's try that again, so that delete, ok, so now we've got a flight plan which is great, we've loaded on some passengers and fuel we're probably a bit over on the fuel actually, uh, PFPX, don't always trust it, but it only thinks we need 2000, so we've got so we can try and change that Trip fuel, 2000, takeoff fuel, 1800, oh, wrong way around, 2000, trip fuel is 900. So we just probably need a bit more than that. And take off your there we go. That's a bit more reasonable, so that gives us a uh few reserves, so 2,200 and that should take us to a diversion if we need um, let's get you back in the cockpit so runway 18 left you can Right, so what we need to do now, we hit this nav source button and we move that to the left and if we follow our heading bug, so that automatically sets our course bug from the FMS 180 Extinguish the caution light um, What we need to do now is the initial altitude for this departure is just above 2,500, so we'll initially go up to uh, 6,000 feet. Nine. We don't want to go higher than that. So first of all, we go on a go-around speed. Press Alt Select so we don't breach that 6,000 feet restriction. And initially, we want to be on a, uh, a heading. So we click our heading bug. So our um, primary flight display ends up looking like that. Right, in our radios, sorry, not in radios, in our uh, radios on our FMS, ATC, because we haven't been assigned, we can squawk 2200 and press enter. In our radio, we can hold that down and that activates that. Hello, Otto. Right, trim is uh, three units. I take it, it means three units of that little block. Um, nose wheel steering goes to off, although we could push through the stand. Have we got any controllers online? Nope.
Uh, on the overhead then, our lights can go on. External power will turn off and we'll get connected to a uh, external power unit which we should have done at the start of uh, loading our plane up. There it is. Back on the overhead now, we can external power goes to on, main bus tie goes to on. Recirc bleed on, bleed minimum on, cabin pressure, sorry, cabin temperature, normal. Uh, wing inspection lights can go on for a little tour. Fasten safety belts on, no smoking on, engine start on normal. That is okay. So we go over to uh, the co-pilot and we turn the anti-skid on. And then if we shrink down, we've got a couple of gauges down here, which is our de-ice and oxygen pressure, which is good. OK, in the secondary FMS we can accept that and just cross-fill the flight plan, which is done, not that we ever fly off the secondary one. And our weather radar can start warming up in standby mode. So down here we can now press the doors button, and that brings up the doors display, and we've got two doors open. So we will shut those now. So we got the baggage, sorry, the rear door and the front door. So shift E, shift E and three. And those are the door shut, and on the uh, FMS again, we can start playing our welcome message. Return, dispense, and welcome. While we're doing that, we we'll do another check for... There's no controllers online. Our flight plan has been filed. And on the overhead, we start up our APU. That's the test. Hit the starter. And that's on warning, so we can press that in, turn the external power off and put the bleed air on. We can now get rid of the uh, ground power unit, data, services and cancel that. Prop feather can go on, hydraulics can go on. On the overhead, wing inspection lights can go to off. Beacon light can go to on. Bleed air then comes off. And then on the outside of the plane, that's fine. Let's put our demister on. And it's time to start our engines. So on the overhead, start engine number two first. Make sure there's no controllers online. 
and hit start select we can then put engine 2 up to uh, start and feather and off it goes OK, on the overhead, engine number one does the same. Prop levers up to max. And then we can turn the APU off. No steering goes back to on. Miss my V speeds. I just made those up. I haven't got an idea. There's a u little utility I normally use, but I missed the chance to use that. OK, we need to uh, get our flap down. That's all good. Just a parking brake. So, taxi light can go on. We'll put a message in the console. And we'll say, I don't know, um, where is 1 8 left? EHAM taxi ing to runway one eight left via Bravo. Okay, so we got to get moving because otherwise we're not going to have enough fuel left for the journey if we uh, hang around. Probably not going to have enough left anyway. So, fuel pumps on, on. Okay, off we go. So we can push through the stand because there's no uh, traffic. Let's 
So we'll aim for that line over there. And we might be able to do a short takeoff because we're lightly loaded and it's a huge runway. So we start on Taxiway Alpha. And then we hop across the taxiway Bravo. So our frame rates are 23, 24. That's all right, I guess. I wonder what they would be in P3D V3. And then in X-Plane 10.4.1. straighten ourselves on the taxiway. So the runway next to us at the moment is runway 24. And the runway we need is 18, which interjects at the end of runway 24, sorry, the start of runway 24. But if we continue pootling down, uh, continuing on taxiway Bravo, then we might be able to take off from uh, Echo 2 if there's no uh, inbound traffic, which I can't see that there is. So we make a uh, left or bare left. Down here. You can see some juddering because of the frame rates, but we are still okay. Keep on checking to see if there's any incoming traffic and to check if there's any uh, controllers, which there are none of either. We got <laughs> a truck. Move out of the way. Surely you're not meant to be here. So we've got two uh, shortcuts onto the runway now. Echo 3, Echo 4. So we'll take 4, Echo 4 we will.
Okay, so we will hold there. Our flight lock comes off. On the overhead, pitots go on. Landing lights go on, taxi light goes off. Bleeds can stay off till after takeoff. And we are all ready. So we'll send another message. Which is that. We will line up on the runway and have an immediate takeoff. Just straighten up. So our prop levers now go into rating or notch. Use the rudder and a slight bit of yoke to keep us on the centre line. Positive climb, gear up. Your damper goes to on. Should have gone on on the runway. We got that. Passenger please can go to on. And autopilot can come on. Go into nav mode. And we will start to go to the left. Flaps go up. And with a positive rate of climb. Please can now go on to norm. and indicated airspeed and then go up to uh, 200 fuel tank pumps can go off hydraulics can go on to gravity fed and prop feather can go to off squat mode charlie and then we will start our turn to the right. And there you can see Shipple in the background. So we're at 6,000 feet, now we'll go up to uh, our cruise of two four two two zero two one and our Q and H goes back down to one zero one three. Oh, don't need that. We got an easy jet plane taking off from a different runway. Didn't put anything in the chat. I'm on the wrong chat channel, that's why. Tune, come on. Two, eight, zero. There we go. Silly me. Rookie mistake. Mm. 
they must be 363BR. Is it going to hit me? Should be over there somewhere. Okay, 10,000 feet, landing lights go off, seat belts can go off. And they should start flying faster than me now. So even though they're below me, they should start flying ahead. If not, <laughs> we'll see them as they hit us. There we go, he should be ahead now. Just see there. Right, let's look at Vantastic, see what else is online. Heading bug over there. And we should be on London South when we get to where we want to go. Right, weather radar on. Nothing to worry about. And we got a oh, 13 knot headwind. So that EasyJet's going to Gatwick. What else have we got? Coast Guard from EGFF. Pardon me, they're in a uh, C-130. Wow. They got Wycliffe flying in from uh, Lima Foxtrot, Lima Bravo. So let's find him on the map. View on map. EGNV. What's it? T side. Wow. T sides online. <laughs> Never even knew.
The problem with a skin... Hello Erlingus, how are you? Yeah, no, I'm great, thanks very much. What have you been up to? You okay? Yeah. Uh, you're doing a flight from uh, EGLC to EIDW. How cool is that? Where are you? Are you on that sim? Okay. Mm. 
Nah, too scared. <laughs> it's been quite quiet so far. I messed up because I was on the wrong frequency, but uh, we're okay now. We're going to get some control at London. We're following a Airbus 320 EasyJet, and they're going into Gatwick. Right, so where are we? We are top of descent in 34 nautical miles or 6 minutes, destination in 21 minutes or 117 nautical miles. We've got London Control online, so it should be London South on 129420. But we'll wait for them to ping me a message. How's your flight going, Aer Lingus, anyway? Uh, all in control? Right, so we, we will tune into London South then, 12942. Let's just have a quick look at their map again. <laughs> So we bring up our FMS and we go to tune, and then which uh, one two nine four two. Heading zero one six. Now trans two five one seven. How much is the dash eight? Uh, let's have a look. Dash 8Q400, download is £40 on just flight. London, Roger. 
36 pounds on flights in store. But to be fair, it is worth no, 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 both of those amounts. I'm going to Garrick Tower, call sign Amy, 124 decimal 225. Tower 124225, not trying to see if I want to, that's a lot to him. Three times, okay, left on the ground, I'll be on the left one. Again, ground, watch one, seven, should be with two, three, take it, thank you, bye-bye. We will 82, descend to flight level 70, turn left heading 270 degrees. We are at 270 degrees, and flight level 70 is going to 80. Flight level 70 is Papa Sierra three three seven report heading to Paris on one two eight decimal one. Good night. One two eight decimal one. Um, many thanks for your service this evening. Turn left, heading 30 degrees, once it's established, 27 right, descend on the glide path. Turn left, heading 33 degrees, and the third shuttle collides with the same glide path, turn left, 233. Right, so we'll listen out for our call sign, or we'll get a ping, and we are Jersey 1023. £40 is a rip-off. <laughs> I mean, the way I look at it is you make a dash 8, and then you tell us how much you want to uh, sell it for. <laughs> You can't remember, that's their livelihood. What does 40 quid buy you these days? Mate, here in London, control relief, bottom heading 140 degrees, vectoring ILS 27 right. Speed problem with 140 degrees, vectors ILS 27 right, that's speed problem with zero. Speed with 82, turn right, heading 080 degrees. Oh, that's us. Three three speed one sixty knots until four Germany. One six zero knots until four. They need to be reduced to six G and the establishment localizer on the two seven right. Speed two two seven descend to flight level eight zero. Descend flight level eight zero. Speed two two seven. Speed eight two. We descend to altitude 4,000 feet, Q and H, 1014. You have two, one, Frank Wells. 4,000 feet, control, good evening, Jersey 1023 with you, flight level 220. Jersey 1023, contact London on 127.1. 127.1, one, Jersey 1023. 7. London Control, good evening, Jersey 1023 with you, flight level 220. Jersey 1023, London Control, good evening, score 0312. Squawk is 0312, Jersey 1023. 0312. Line 146, Delta Contact, London 129, decimal 420, bye bye. On, uh, one, two, nine. 
American 425, would you like to proceed directly to Redford? American 425, you're kind of going there anyway. Alright, Roger, I just wanted to make sure American 425, thanks. Do you want to do a 2-3 Spear 2 Bravo arrival for City, roommate 27, descend flight level 7 zero. That's a Spear 2 Bravo for London City, runway 27 and use, descend flight level 70, Jersey 1023. Right, so we're starting our descent. Uh, Air Lingus, if you ever wanted to get on that sim, just let me know. I can sort you out with some uh, introductory lessons if you have a headset and so on. So we need to be seven zero. Oh God, by. Uh, Trippo. Oh. Easy six three Bravo Romeo contact London one two nine decimal four two zero bye bye. V nav. One two nine decimal four two easy six three Oh, where are we going? We're going way off track, heading mode. Go over to the right, little plane. Right, let's take it out of autopilot. It's got a bloody control lock, excuse the swearing. Ah, it's all gone wrong. How did that happen? Engage autopilot again. Ah, <sighs> I must have pressed something wrong to engage control lock, <laughs> and then it all went wrong. This is why you need a co-pilot.
Right, people in the cabin are going to sue. See, even my pitos have gone off. Let's get them sat down. Let's recover the situation. <laughs> even the doors didn't open and all that kerfuffle. Right, any good screenshots there? That'll do for one. Uh, American 425 is after Red Bull, about two miles off for, two nautical miles off from Red Bull. We're going to proceed after Red Bull. American 425, you're just about to leave my airspace, so continue on the Unicom. Good evening. Right, so... Did you definitely we're over speeding. Spirit 7412, you're in my airspace also, continue on Unicorn, good night. God, that was awful, awful flying. Don't watch that bit, Thank skip. You Do you watch this bit? Four, one, skip two, bye -bye. to the next bit, forget the last bit. Right, so now we need to get back down to 7000. There we go. And we want to land with flaps 35. And relax. Jersey one zero two three contact London control one two nine decimal four two zero bye bye. Going to one two nine four two zero Jersey one zero two three bye bye. Speed air zero six zero descend flight level eight zero. Right now, one four six Delta contact Paris one two decimal one. Contact Paris one two decimal one EV one four six Delta. Right now, one four six Delta. Eight eight two okay left contact ground one two one decimal seven. Let them go. One, one, this one. Bye, bye. Right. Landing control, Jersey one zero two three. With you, flight level seven zero. Jersey one zero two. Descend to altitude five thousand feet. Two and eight. One zero one five. Descend to altitude 5,000 feet, QNH 1015, Jersey 1023. Right, let's try and do something right now. Landing control, good evening, easy 5 4 out of 4,500 for 6 0. Easy 5 4 Alpha Lima, London, squad high end, climb now, flight level 140. Climb flight level 140, squad guidance, flight level 140. Evet, 1180, runway 27 right, clear to land, 170 degrees 8. Clear to land, 27 right, we monitor. Jersey 1023, Fly heading 255 degrees, vectoring ILS, runway 09, Jersey 1023. Oh, 
Alpha Zero Alpha Zero Two Follow Two Four Zero. For London, Lambda begin three Bravo arrival for Heathrow. When ready, descend funnel one five zero level by Tiger. Nine, sure that can't be right. I'll begin three Bravo arrival and descend funnel one five zero level by Tiger. Just here for. London, good evening. Sir, down in forty. I'm all over the place. Put everything back on. Station calling, I'm taking calls on the That's good, 918. 918, via November, November 2 Echo, line up on weight 27 left. Okay, November 2 Echo, line up on weight 27 left, there's your 918. Bravo Romeo, contact Gatwick, direct 126, decimal 825, bye bye. It's going to be a really, really rubbish landing. London Road 15 Lima Kilo requesting further descent one eight. Silver one five Lima Kilo descent level eight zero. Eight zero for speedbird one five Lima Kilo. Thank you. Thirty knots wind. <laughs> Poor little plane. Bird nine one eight runway two seven left coast take off wind one seven zero degrees eight knots. I do think it's good. Good night. Good correction. Easy five four Alpha Lima. Climb for level two three zero. Climb level two three zero. Easy five four Alpha Lima. Give it one one eight zero contact ground one two one. Uh, one zero two three descend to altitude three thousand feet. Heading two three zero. Flight heading two three zero descend three thousand feet. Jersey one zero two three. Is he landing me zero 09 or 27? It looks like 27 at the moment. I should ask. Let's start slowing down regardless. It's going to take me through the localizer. But we've got Thames radar on now, so we may get past to Tim Smith. Under control, hello, this is Condor 557. Wish you a flight level 270 on a heading of 350. Condor 557, London control, Russian. Climbing flight level 300, route direct, begin, Brad Diego. Route direct, begin, climb flight level 300, Condor 557. Bird 918. Eight climb now, flight level seven zero. Flight level seven zero, speed nine. Speed at one five e Makilo, leave Hockham, heading zero seven five degrees. 
Lee, welcome. Heading zero seven five degrees. Speed one one five. Lima Kilo. Heading one zero. Contact on one three two decimal seven. One three two decimal seven, Jersey one zero two three, thank you and bye bye. One three two seven zero. Thames radar, good evening, Jersey one zero two three is with you at altitude three thousand feet. Jersey one zero two three can you turn right now to send out to two thousand feet expect it just for ILS zero nine. Descend two thousand feet, expect ILS vector zero nine, Jersey one zero two three. This is gonna be horrendous. He's on validation. I can't fly my plane. That's a bad combination I'm sure. Jersey 1023 right heading 280 degrees. Right 280, Jersey 1023. 2789. Right, let's drop our gear, so let's slow ourselves down. That's fine. Clever, isn't it? Can't really see either. <laughs> this is <laughs> this is probably going to make it to uh, the highlights reel. Got enough fuel for a go around, that's alright. Good fuel planning, good guessing. But if we're not stable, we are going to go around. There's no point in landing badly, he says. Keep that speed under control. Jersey one two two three two right in three turn six zero degrees. Turn right three six zero degrees, Jersey one zero two three. So that's north. So we got lovely London. Hello, London.
Okay, so let's drop our flat. Jersey 1, 2, 3, 2, right heading 0, 6, 0 degrees, perception of the new person will be 0, 9, 1, this is still in our path. Uh, right zero six zero for Jersey one zero two three. So we've got a massive crosswind, 11 knots, gear down, flaps full, localizer established. Jersey 1, 2, 2, 3, 0, 9, 8, get land, so between 1, 5, 0, 9 knots. Clear to land zero nine is Jersey one zero two three. So we're coming onto the glide slope now. That's right. Hold on, mittens. Oh, too slow. Autopilot off. Bit of stick shaker. That was a good landing under the circumstances. All right, mate. I'll be with you in a sec. Jersey one two two three, make one eighty, back flat, moving through some, we get left at Delta, stand four. 180, backtrack off at Delta, stand four for Jersey one zero two three.
Where's my co pilot? There's that truck again. <laughs> uh, see ya. Uh, sorry, I was reading. I was just trying to read and land. Thank you very much. Nice landing. See you soon. Thanks for stopping by. Be back on Sunday. Is that for me or you? Tax light is on already. I've got to put my collision lights on to. Uh... Anyway. Let's find stand number four. Four. He's parked in a space. Oh, no, he isn't. So we go straight in, then we do a full right turn. Mind out. And then we look overhead to look how badly we did that. Oh, that's not so bad. close enough, isn't it? Don't want to waste any more fuel where I don't need to. Uh, on the overhead, that's on, so we can turn our engines off. And that is a, uh, a flight from Shippel to uh, London City. So let's get a ground power unit connected. There's loads of things I forgot, and that's the trouble if you don't fly the plane all the time. You forget. Services. Request one of those. Left side on. Our baggage open. So on the overhead, we now put the external power on. That can go off. Um, engines are off. Taxi light can go off. Pito should go off. And that is how you do it. So we'll get a screenshot here. And hopefully that will win me a screenshot prize. And we'll say thank you. Jersey 1023, our park stand for. Thanks very much for the service this evening. No problem. <laughs> Easy as that. So thanks everyone if you're watching this video this evening or later in the week. Thanks very much for your viewing, and uh, any suggestions, let me know. See you all soon, and uh, enjoy.